Hey guys, the Angry Bear here, and I am, well, you know what I'm back with, you can tell because there's a huge floating logo right around here, right around this area. So, well, let's go, Pepper. Na 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 I'm kinda tired, but not too tired, okay. And you're probably thinking, whoa, what is going on here? Why do you have full iron armor? Well, that, and look at these. Look at these guys over here. Aren't they snazzy? And if we go up here, is the dryad new? Can't remember. Anyway, I did some explosives mining, best kind of mining, and I got some eb, some ebstone, some obsidian, wait, no, that's obsidian, uh, some pearl stone, and I'm making, like, a bunch of areas, a bunch of different zones where I'm willing to go and then you're looking up here probably and like what yeah uh well, let me show you a little something using because of my alternative control scheme using enter instead of escape now for the inventory can take a bit to get used to but yeah check it out got some differences going on here <sighs> I went ahead and rebeat the eye uh the aardvark and ended up getting an unreal lights bane that was awesome that was fun uh, massive spear. Got that in the chest. Oh yeah, I've got a spike shackle now. Hmm. Grenades. Yep, I spent a whole lot of time getting these so I can battle the Eater of Worlds with you guys and beat him. Err. Okay. So let's continue. Let me showing you things. I put my bars in here. in their orders. Uh, I've got some stuff in here. Nothing's in order in there, unfortunately. Uh, nothing's in order here, unfortunately. And in here, this is the server stuff that I still cannot use, and so let us ignore that. Huh. I kind of want to go accessory hunting this episode. Yes, accessory hunting. While I was on my, while I was on, uh, my way doing stuff, I discovered an above ground, underground jungle. That might sound weird, but I'm not sure if it was a glitch in the game's code or something. But underground jungle with a man eater, and like, I'm pretty sure there was even a hornet or two when I went there the first time. Well, well, they were just there, and uh, killed some of them, and well, some good stuff can appear in you know the underground jungle and chest and you know we'll probably go past there we'll just look around get some stuff uh, no I refuse to die and if you're wondering why I'm not all enthusiastic right now it's I am I'm just a bit tired let's go check Check out how quick it is. It's strong. Raw. The reason I didn't get the light spain the first time was because I didn't pay attention to its speed. It actually is a very fast speed. And so that's why, to some extent at least, it's worth it. So it'll actually kill things faster. Unfortunately, it's not a hold weapon where you can just click and hold. Okay, we're in the end See, right here. Oh, a chest already. Sweet. That's where the man-eater was that I killed. Aha. Uh -huh. He died. Okay, let's go here. Yeah. Oh, nothing. In oh, looted this chest already, apparently. Okay, let's go over here. This seems mysterious. Ah. What is hurting me? Get out of here. <gasps> Yay. Let's get it. Let's get whatever's in there. Holy crap. The feral. The rapid. Oh my god. Oh my god. This may. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. The rapid feral claws. Do you know how rare the. Oh my god. I am the luckiest person alive, officially, right now. That was amazing. No, die. 
Jesus Christ. Oh my god. I am just blown away. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. I didn't even bring my hammer with me, so I can't pick that up. Oh, I was right there that whole time. Oh, that's a lot of piranhas. Maybe we'll get a robot hat, too. Maybe I'll get that lucky, too. That was... Now I'm just, like, not as like Ooh, what's in here? Okay, swiftness potion. I guess that's what, I guess this is worth it. I would only use the blowpipe as a beginning weapon, personally. I would never use it for anything else. Ever. Oh, yep, there's one of the, there's one of the stingers I was telling you about. Uh-oh, through that. Yes. Perish. Yes. Another chest. Sweet. This is going well. But, unfortunately, it's just more of this stuff. And now let's put that back in here. Let's continue. Okay, we're back. Because I didn't want to die. Let's go heal with the nurse. That was pretty... Hey, has Daryl mentioned needing to go to the doctor for any reason? Just wondering. I'm gonna just sew your face back on, she was basically saying. I'm here to give you advice. Yeah, I'm trying to find a certain thing that he says. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. You know what, he just talks about how he wants some death weed. Or mentions it. Anyway. So, we got these equipped. Now let's, let's unequip them so I can show you the difference. Oh my god, this is so amazing. This is the best thing ever. Okay, so. Let me swing the lights. Let me swing the lights bane. Wait, did I take them off? Yeah. Unreal lights bane. Put them off. Okay? Do that. Pretty fast, right? But now with them on, you might not be able to tell, but I can tell. And plus, these ones are rapid, so they make me fat. Stir. Well, that sucks. Hmm. Hey, do you want to know what's weird? I noticed that I was looking. I was watching quite a few uh, YouTube videos about people who've done the. One who got what 1.1 update, and apparently there's a lot people don't know. I mean, I watched some videos by a certain guy who I who I'm subscribed to, and his videos are good. But he gets enough views, so I don't need to advertise for him. Uh, yeah, he. I basically looked and learned all about all the 1.1 things, and so I am quite educated about them. So I guess I could do a little tutorial thing. Not a big thing. Probably just mixed in with the episodes. I'll probably just put it as a thing at the end. Do I have anything for that? Oh yeah, I haven't beat the wall of flesh yet. So let's just do some normal tutorials right now. Okay guys, hi, the Angry Bear here with some Terraria tutorials. Now, you see, right here we've got, well, mine's the Unreal, but they're not all the Unreal. The Light's Bane. It is crafted using, well, let me show you. Let me just get out my Demonite bars to show you. No 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 I'll just get out one just because I want to. Oh no, it's mine. Uh close. Guys, you maybe drop it. I hate you so much. No but okay, so crafting. The light's bane. Now, this is made with ten demonite bars and it does seventeen melee damage. 4% critical strike chance, very fast speed, average knockback, and it's a material. And let me show you what it's a material for. Oh, I love this. 
the Knight's Edge. Yep. Everybody, well, at least one of everybody's. You know, people like the Knight's Edge. That's what I'm trying to get across here. Now, just look. Just, just look at it. Yeah. So out of all these, these, this has the shortest range light Spain, but the fastest out of these. And then you get the average speed, but quite strong Knight's Edge. And I just dropped my light Spain. And mine's Unreal, which is a prefix that can come with one of these. That can come with one of your weapons. And basically what it does is it adds certain benefits on. Like, let me show you. Yeah. Hmm. See, originally it would do 17 melee damage, have a 9%, I mean, have a 4% critical strike chance, and pretty sure that's about it. Anyways, see see here, with this, with Unreal, it has 18% more damage, 10% plus speed to me, 5% plus critical strike chance, and 15% plus knockback. So it's still an average knockback, but uh, you could get it higher than that probably if with a better one I think legendary is better than that but I'm not entirely sure is mythical one of them mystic mythical something like that anyway yeah I had a few of my guys die but I still got most of them Resolva Dolber I think she died once yeah but I still have her Milton Andrew yeah it's basically all the same people Oh yeah, and I did some, I should probably show you the hell I rose in my mind. Literally, actually, I did raise some hell. Well, actually, I didn't raise the hell itself. You know what, you'll see. Oh yeah, and I took off my miner's helmet, because I thought glow sticks would light up the area. I decided to dig this, okay, maybe I didn't decide to dig, dig this way. I thought this was the place, but apparently not. Uh that glow sticks would be permanent and apparently I learned my lesson they are not so do not try and use them as a permanent lighting source that's why I should could use some cursed torches right now uh, the cursed torch is an item that can be crafted with uh, one cursed flame and three torches or 30 torches or something like that and it creates these torches that uh, you can use in water so they're basically permanent like unlike the low sticks but they can be used in water which makes them quite useful and I need to take out this cape bat there I really didn't anticipate needing more light did I do I have a shine potion yes I do have a shine potion okay this will make this a lot easier it's like having the miner's helmet all over again <sighs> no. Remember, guys, could you like and subscribe to my videos? You know, it's not always easy to make videos, and. Well, we do it for you. We use up our time to make you happy. And if that can be taken any ways, set in any. Yeah, you know what I'm trying to say. If it can be taken any way that you might consider sexual, then. Well, I'll hold you responsible. Uh, this also wasn't the area. Where is that place where I mined to the side? Not here. Uh, let's see, it takes out the cave bats in one hit, and I'm pretty sure my something else I had did that too, but you know what? It's a nice, it's a nice addition. Oh, we only have four minutes left in this. We gotta get, keep going, even though I think it starts at five minutes. Hmm. Let's go. Okay. Let's. Was this it? No, this was not it. Okay. So apparently something went. Something's up, and. Could this be it? Nope, this is not it. Yep, we are down here now. Uh, was it up here? I'm betting it was up here, wasn't it? Uh, that does not look natural at all, and so I will not think of it as natural. I'll think I've already been over here. And I am correct, because I believe that's where I threw my bomb. Well, I was quite far away from the mic, so I apologize for any 
inconveniences or inconveniences, whatever you might have, anything that might have inconvenienced you along the way. Yep, this is it. Yeah. <sighs> oh god. Okay. Crystal heart. Heart crystal. Whatever it's called. All I know is that they stole this from Zelda. But that's fine, because it was a good idea. And I'm glad they decided to use it. Because it's nice, and it keeps the game on. I don't have a hammer. Well? Oh, of course not. And once again, of course. And grenades don't they explode blocks. So... Hey, we can use the grappling hook now. Oh, I'm getting armed. Oh, yep, there we go. My extremities were detached. Good for him. Well, we're going back to get that once I find my hammer. I could probably make a new hammer, actually. Out of iron or something better. Yeah, let's do that now. Who cares about our old hammer? I kinda do. I miss it already. Is there a copper hammer in this game? Because I've got enough copper to make copper museum of sorts. A full set of copper armor, probably. Maybe not a full set, actually. I need wood, don't I? Well, I'm gonna need to grab some wood from somewhere. Probably from all the trees I planted over there. And we'll, you know, do this with our war axe of the night. We're getting a lot of stuff. All we need, really, right now, is the breaker and the nightmare pickaxe to complete this little set we've got going on here. <sighs> the demonite stuff. The nightmare pickaxe is what one of the things I really want, but you need to be the eater of worlds first, and that will not be easy with my current gear. Other than the grenades, the grenades might make it a piece of cake, but just might make it so easy that it won't be a problem no matter what. But on the other hand, they might not, and so I'm not sure it's worth the risk just yet. Nah, 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 nah. And if somebody could post in the comments or a video response or something just a good strategy for being the eater of world because I know I've I have uh, iron armor now but even with this I am still not 100% confident that I could beat him without dying does that make sense no because he'll leave if you die even once so if I could beat him Yeah. Oh yeah, this was supposed to be accessory hunting, then I turned it into tutorials. But we did get an accessory. Ah, oh, such a good one. Oh yes, the barrel claws. Thank goodness that they exist. Milton, get back inside. Get back inside, Milton. No, oh, why? Why? Better might as well make that hammer. Here it is. Hmm, <sighs> blink root. I don't really care. Why now? Okay, so <sighs> let's deposit these. Falling star point and hit those guys. Oh god, oh god, oh god. Light spain, light spain. Yay. Yay. Okay, so right now I'm safe, I guess. As long as I get over there, I should be safe. And you can see the mannequins. They're one of the few things from 1.1 that you can actually make before you, you know, beat the wall of flesh. 
So that's not that was nice. You make them gonna fit in a little bit of tutorials right here. You make them at the whatchamacallit, whatchamacallit, sawmill was it? And yeah, they can be rather useful. Oh god. Get over here. Get down from there. It's dangerous. God, I'm such a beast with these feral claws. How did you get out? Out of my house. Oh. So, guys, I'm trying to remember. There's something I wanted to ask you guys. Something important. Something. Something other than like and subscribe to this video because it really matters. Just do that. Just if you haven't already, you don't have to subscribe if you like, or you can do both if you want to. It's just that it really does help and makes gives you the warm and fuzzy feeling. Look at all this stuff I've collected. Oh, those don't exist. I didn't die twice and then oh yeah, I'm from I collected some silver bullets from I bought them from him actually on a blood moon. Like you can actually tonight probably. Not probably, most definitely. Hmm. Let us make another mana crystal. God, we're such a beast with mana now. I bet I could take on a oh, water walking potions. I completely forgot about those. Basically the Jesus Christ potions. Okay, nothing in there. Just checking all my chests because I might have forgotten what's in them. Let's look at them. They're bouncing around like some kind of pachinko game. Oh, come on. Oh, there's only one. Usually there's like a stack of them. Oh, better take that off. Okay, so. Let's see here. Let's make armor statues. But I don't think those do anything. Oh no, are they actually here? Dang, pachinko zombies. No, those are the demon eyes that are the pachinko things. Let's keep going up. You know, mudstone, what? Oh, I have some already, apparently. I don't know. That could be interesting as a material, but I'm not sure I want to make it right now, at least. I think it's after the wall flush where he appears, but there's this new guy, a new zombie that appears like the groom, much like the groom, called, uh, whatchamacallit, 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 uh, the clown, yeah, and he appears on blood moons, and he is, he, once he dies, if you've beaten the Skeletron already, which you must have, because then you need the float, yeah, it, ha it would have to be after the wall flush, because then the clothier will start selling. Wait, spoilers, the clothier uh, is your face. No, the clothier is the guy at the Skeletron Dungeon. I think you probably guessed that already, though. If you knew who the clothier was. Anyways, he gives you vanity items. And clothing and stuff. And yeah, he's kind of awesome. He can... Wait, does he sell you the, the hero's clothes? Also known as the Link clothes. For those who aren't entirely stupid and don't mind, you know. Actually, this isn't breaking copyright law because I'm not putting an ad on this video. Uh oh, see? That's thinking ahead, kids. Or is it? Dun dun dun. And so on. I hope that whistling sounded good on the recording. Because one time I whistled on recording and it just sounded like static. That might have been because I used my old mic. So another thing I wanted to point out was that on my old videos I use my old mic and I'm and it sounds terrible. And oh my goodness, it's been a while. This video ends here. Bye guys. I love you. Oh, how'd this how'd this get here? Oh, no, no, I'm just trying to...
Yep, nothing to see here. Anyways, bye guys. I love you. Once again, I press that instead of cancel recording or turn off recording. Okay, bye guys. I love you.